I'm Rahul Agarwal. I, I, I manage the Manus Services uh, offering uh, for Sintel. Sintel is a technical solutions provider with business service, uh, services selling as well. We've got 24,000 associates in 30 countries uh, uh, deployed in four continents. Sintel over the last 35 years of existence has seen a lot of uh, trends in both business and technology and we've been very adaptive in terms of managing those trends. Sintel services six key verticals. Uh, the biggest one is um, banking and financial services which is about 40% of our business. 20% is insurance. 20% is healthcare and life sciences. This is covered through retail and telecom, logistics and travel, and manufacturing with the last and the smallest vertical that we service. We generally service across the globe. Fortune 2000 customers is our customer base. I think the key challenges that we were looking at when we kind of started a journey with the cloud was looking at time it takes for hardware and environment provisioning. I think that was a key challenge. The other challenges that we were dealing with were utilization of our infrastructure and looking at at, at cost in terms of both license and infrastructure cost from a scaling standpoint. We started a journey with Amazon, uh, AWS cloud services. We were we kind of piloted the whole thing internally and we moved some of our test, dev and test workloads into the cloud. We also looked at doing our, some of our IP development load workloads onto the cloud. We looked at doing a lot of POCs and, and, and that kind of workloads we kind of moved into the cloud. And then we started positioning and extending those services from a hosting and automation standpoint to some of our clients. That's how we, uh, we've been using the Amazon AWS cloud services over the last few years. Key services that we're using among various AWS cloud services are EC2, S3, CloudFormation and RDS, plus some services in the DevOps uh, stack as well. We started our journey with using AWS cloud services in our dev test environments, using doing POCs, and then we extended it to build our central IP stack for a faster go-to-market and we developed a central IP we host on Amazon on the AWS cloud services stack and now we also, as part of a proposal and promoting and, and recommending AWS cloud services to our customers for their hosting and automation needs. So we've seen uh, great results in terms of when we developed our IP and it is leading to very fast go-to-market for our IP that we've developed internally and offering to our customers. We've seen great feedback from our other customers where we're recommending AWS services. I think the whole AWS services from a, uh, from a low, co low, low TCO and no CapEx, low, low OpEx, uh, cost transparency, and some of the security uh, provisions like VPC and the metering systems that AWS Cloud Services built, you've seen great uh, traction in the marketplace for, for those services.